Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Taylor and I am so excited to be talking about exposing astrology, zodiac signs, birth charts, horoscopes, and everything under the astrology and zodiac umbrella. Before we get into it, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a like if you want to see more content like this. So throughout high school and college, I actually practiced astrology and I was so into it. It was like my religion. And during this time, I was a Christian. I read my Bible. I went to church. I went to youth group conferences. I was on the worship team. Like nobody ever sat down and explained to me, hey, astrology, zodiac signs, looking at your horoscope, interpreting birth charts. This is actually divination. This is actually in the Bible and God says not to do it. This is actually hurting and harming your relationship with God. Whenever I brought it up, people just kind of shrugged it off or they seemed interested. There was never any loving rebuke. Nobody ever taught me. And so today I want to talk about it. I want to make this video. I want to expose why the enemy even wants us to be doing this in the first place. So today we're going to pull back the curtain. We're going to expose all of the things that I realized once I was deep in astrology, my eyes were opened and I was like, wow, this is not of God. This is evil. This is demonic. And I have to stop doing this. I think it's important to address why people turn to astrology or palm reading or numerology, going to a psychic, any of these things that can kind of give you a hope for the future. When people don't know how to hear from God or how to inquire God or ask God about the future, next steps, they don't really understand what a prophetic word is or they don't understand how to prophetically hear from God. The first thing that people do when they're in a desperate situation is they will turn to anything spiritual to give them an answer or to give them some guidance because they feel out of control. Astrology offers this system to kind of make sense of the world and everything crazy and it tries to help you gain control back over your life or control about what's going to happen in your future. That's why a lot of people read their horoscopes. So I got to the point where I was so deep into astrology where I was interpreting something called charts. There's birth charts, there's natal charts, there's charts for the new year and these charts they break down all of the alignment of the planets. That's kind of how astrology works. It's They base everything off of the solar system and what constellations the planets are moving from. And this is how, you know, they interpret and they understand the events that are going to happen in the future. So I was interpreting these constellation and planet charts and how they correlated with this spiritual practice. And I was in my room, I'll never forget, I was in college, I was in my room, I'm interpreting my chart, and it said that I was prone to head trauma, that I was going to get a divorce when I was older, um, that and it just had all of these like things, like this is who you were in a past life, and you're most likely to get this kind of cancer, or this kind of sickness, or this kind of tragedy is going to happen to you, and while I was reading all of these horrible things about my life, something in my spirit clicked. It was like the light bulb came on and I was like, this is not of God. Everything that I'm reading right now is curses. These things don't come from God. God doesn't have divorce written into Jeremiah 29 11, for I know the plans and the purposes I have for you, says the Lord, plans to prosper you and to give you hope in the future. That's not divorce. That's not all of these sicknesses and traumas and pains and all these curses like that those things are not of the lord those things are a result of a sinful and fallen world and we have access because of the cross to apply healing and deliverance to all of those curses all of those sicknesses all of those evil things and so i knew i recognized this is not the nature of my heavenly father the angel of light the bible says that satan disguises himself as the angel of light so he can come and present doctrine or teaching or a spiritual practice to us make it look like it's light make it look like it's of god present it to us so it takes us into spiritual error so it takes us off course so we start practicing false religion so what happened to me is the angel of light told me that god created 
all of the zodiac signs, all the constellations, and astrology is just the study of the system that God had designed. That is what the angel of light told me. So I thought that astrology was of God. So once I got deep enough into it, my spiritual eyes opened because I knew God. And I said, this is not the same nature as my father. This is deception. This is spiritual error. These are curses. This is demonic. Once I realized that I was in deep sin, I was knee deep in this sin, I realized that I needed deliverance. And as I walk through my deliverance with my mentors, with my leaders, and they prayed over me, I detached myself from all of this stuff. While I was walking through deliverance, the Holy Spirit gave me direct revelation from him and he told me that each of these 12 zodiac signs is a principality there is a demonic spirit a chief principality big level big daddy demon over each zodiac sign there is a principality of aries virgo um capricorn aquarius there is for each and every one there is a chief principality and they have a whole army of all of these other lower ranking spirits that work inside of that company for each zodiac sign. So I'm going to give you an example. Um, for the Aries constellation, people say that these people are prone to head trauma. They say that these people are prone to explosive anger. They have anger issues. They have rage issues. They're violent people. Um, in my chart, it said that I was going to get a divorce. So all, there are all these characteristics for the sign of Virgo. There's OCD, there's anxiety, panic attacks, perfectionism. Um, for Scorpio, there's manipulation, um, lying, lust. Like So you see there are all of these demonic spirits, these demonic qualities that are assigned under every single principality. There's two areas where astrology, where believing in zodiac signs will get you. One area is in the area of your personality, and then the second area is divination, witchcraft. So the way that astrology is a little bit different from something like tarot cards or palm reading or going to a psychic, you're just going to them and saying, read me my future. Give me the divination. That's the spirit. It's a demon. Divination. It's demonic. There's countless verses in the Bible where God tells us do not do divination. Don't go to mediums. Don't go to fortune tellers. Don't go to psychics. They're operating out of the demonic. They don't get their powers from me, God says in the Bible, but they get their powers from unclean demonic spirits. The divination is Satan's counterfeit version of the gift of prophecy that God gives us. Prophecy is hearing a word from God about maybe it's about the future or it's about the past or, you know, a result or, or something happening now. And divination is the devil's counterfeit copycat satanic version of you know god giving someone a word of knowledge or a prophetic word so in astrology this is satan's tactic when it comes to zodiac signs in astrology first you come into agreement with your sign okay with that principality and there's a lot of them it's not just like you know there's one virgo spirit and only one person in the world can like the, these are the way the spiritual realm works is these principalities have thousands and thousands and legions of other demonic spirits that have the same functions and other functions, similar functions, they all work together. It's really a whole army that these spirits have. And the Bible talks a lot about, you know, the second heaven, the spiritual realm where angels and demons duke it out. Like there are millions of angels there are millions of demons and so that's how they can oppress so many of us so when you come into agreement with your sign you come into agreement with that principality you give that demonic spirit permission now to affect your personality you open the door let's say you're a scorpio you open the door for those spirits of manipulation which comes with rebellion comes with witchcraft you open the door also for scorpio for the spirit of lust and then you know pornography masturbation all of these other things can come along with it when you open the door to one there's always more than one they're like gangs they travel in packs um, this is especially true with the zodiac sign because there's so many qualities that are assigned to you once you come into agreement with it you open yourself up to a whole 
host of demonic spirits. So you come into agreement with this demonic principality, then it hooks you again with divination because you can't read your zodiac sign without hearing about your horoscope, without hearing about your natal chart, your birth chart. And so it puts two hooks in you at once that are very, very, very dangerous. It opens you up, your personality and your soul, it opens it up to demons, and then it ropes you in with divination too. So this is why it's very, very dangerous. Then you get into divination and this goes for your natal charts. This goes for palm readers. This goes for psychics. This goes for tarot cards. This goes for anybody who can tell you and read you your future or your fortune that is not hearing from God, who is not a Christian, who is not hearing from the Lord Jesus, who is not operating in the prophetic, anything else. Anybody not hearing from the voice of God is hearing from the voice of Satan, from demons. So the way divination works, now we're talking about telling the future, divination. This is a form of witchcraft. Every single form of this is witchcraft. And the way divination works is that demons cannot see the future like God can. They can't. What they can do is this chart or a psychic or a tarot card interpreter, they will speak out and they will speak over you their prediction, their um, demonic prophetic word, their psychic message. They will speak it over you and say, this is going to happen. This is a message literally from the mouth of demons that they're speaking out saying this is going to happen. Then when you receive that message, whether you, when you receive it into your mind, your heart, your spirit, you say, okay, thank you. All right, well, what do I do next? When you receive that, when you receive that word, when you receive that demonic prophecy, prophecy, because they can't see the future, they're speaking it over you, then you receive it. You give those demonic spirits permission to carry out that plan in your life because you received it. They cannot come in unless you open the door. This is why God says, do not seek out fortune tellers. Don't go to mediums. Don't go to psychics. It's not because he doesn't want you to know the future. If God didn't want us to know the future, why would he give us prophets? Why would he give us a gift of prophecy? Why would he send prophets to us to say this is going to happen? God wants us to know the future, friends. He wants us to know the things that he's going to do in our lives. It's not a sin to want to know the future. It's not a sin to get a prophetic word. But what source are you going to? That's when it crosses the line and it's for our protection because God doesn't want these demons having access to our personality, having access to our lives. And then once we give it access, they have a spiritual right. They have a legal right to carry those plans out, which is why God says, don't go to them. Don't receive it. Don't expect it. Don't seek them out because you're just going to give them permission to wreak havoc in your life. I cannot stress Jeremiah 29 11 enough when we're talking about the future, when we're talking about the plans that God has. I can't stress it enough. God does not have all of these things. I was listening to a sermon about this from Brother Derek Prince, and he was talking about this same topic. He was talking about divination and seeing psychics. And he said a woman came to him uh, during one of his services and she said, please tell me I didn't make a mistake. I went to a psychic and she told me that my husband was going to die. And then two or three weeks later, he died in a car accident. She said, Brother Derek Prince, is it my fault? And he said, honestly, I was not able to tell her if it was her fault or not because she opened the door. She received that word. She went out to the psychic and then it came true. And he was like, I literally couldn't tell her like, no, this isn't your fault because she opened that door. So this is very real and just to prove it to you guys, because we always have people saying, didn't the um, wise men use astrology? Weren't they astrologers to find Jesus? And the answer is no. Um, astrology and divination is never going to point you to Jesus. It's never going to point you to lay down your life for God and forsake everything else. Astrology is worshiping the stars in the sky, which is idolatry. It's also divination, which we see over and over again. This is sin in the Bible. The Bible says that God God puts wonders in the heavens and the stars and the sky in the book of Luke and in the book of Revelation it talks about how God will put wonders and signs in the sky when it is the end 
times. That doesn't mean God puts zodiac signs in the sky so we can do divination and so we can sin. It says the moon will turn red in the book of Revelation. Jesus says the moon will turn red and that's how you'll know you're in the last days. Not that's how you can do divination. He says he's putting all of these signs of the times in the sky so we can go back to scripture and say, we're in the last days because God said the stars were going to fall from the heavens. And look, they're falling from the heavens. His word is true and Jesus is coming soon. That's why he puts the wonders in the sky. And so when Jesus was born, the star was in the sky to tell everybody to celebrate the Messiah is here. Astrology is not going to point you to that. There's nothing in astrology that tells you go outside and follow a star and there's going to be a baby. Like that's not what astrology does. Astrology doesn't get into Christianity and Judaism. It is self-seeking. It's self-serving. It's what's going to happen to me and my charts and my personality. It's never going to say take your eyes off of yourself and put them on Jesus, which is what the wise men did. They were astronomers. Astronomy is studying the stars. It's studying the constellations. It's studying the universe. And, and they noticed the sign and they said, you know, something has happened. We have to come and see what it is. And really to nail this point home to you, the Bible actually talks about astrology. Literally the word astrology is in the Bible because this is an ancient Babylonian practice and it was around in the Bible time. So it actually shows up in the Bible and we're gonna read some scriptures about what the Bible says. Deuteronomy 4.19 says, and when you look up into the sky and see the sun, the moon, and the stars and the forces of heaven, don't be seduced into worshiping them. The Lord your God gave them to all the people of the earth. Don't be seduced to looking to them for the future, looking to them for your answers, looking to them to give you your identity. Those are all idolatry. As a Christian, your identity is in Christ. As a Christian, we're supposed to inquire our God about the future. Isaiah 47, 13 and 14 says, all the advice you receive has made you tired. Where are your astrologers, those stargazers who make predictions each month? Let them stand up and save you from what the future holds. But they are like straw burning in a fire. They cannot save themselves from the flame and you will get no help from them at all. Their hearth has no place to sit for warmth. This verse says that astrology is useless. It's garbage. The people who practice astrology can't even help themselves. How can they help you? Because their worship and their predictions and their practices are garbage and sin to the Lord and they are not true. If their advice was true, then they would be able to help them. But here in Isaiah 47, it says they can't help you. It's a false practice. In the book of Daniel, Nebuchadnezzar has a dream and he calls on all of the people, all of the wise men in Babylon and says, interpret this dream for me. And Daniel 4, 7 says, the magicians, the enchanters, the astrologers came in and I told them the dream, but they could not make known to me its interpretation. So again, we see it's useless. It doesn't work. The magicians, the enchanters, the witches, the astrologers, everybody came in and tried to interpret a dream from God that the king had, but all of their efforts were useless. They couldn't do it. But then God steps in and he shows Daniel what the dream means. Deuteronomy 18 verses 9 and 12 says, when you come into the land that the Lord your God is giving you, so if you want to take this into now, when you step into the plans and purposes that God has for you, that's one way you can read it, you shall not learn to follow the abominable practices of the nations. There shall not be found among you one who burns his daughter or son as an offering. Anyone who practices divination or tells fortunes or interprets omens, interpreting stars, interpreting signs, interpreting planets, or a sorcerer or a charmer or a medium or a necromancer or one who inquires the dead. For whoever does these things is an abomination to the Lord and because of these abominations of and because of these abominations the Lord your God is driving them out before you so you see this is a very important matter to God he does not want us to be led astray by false practices so if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more videos like this in the future and you can follow me on TikTok and Instagram for more spiritual tips